Next up is the Barista Champion of Peru. Let's hear some noise. For David Salazar. Louder, louder, louder. He's come all this way. So, David, you are ready? You're feeling excited? The judges are ready, so they're going to come along. And as soon as they feel settled and as soon as you feel ready, just let's go. It's your time, so good luck. Buena suerte. Gracias. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Good day. Are you ready, judges? Are you ready? 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 Fantastic. Music, please. Time. Have you ever imagined reusing coffee processing byproducts and create a beverage that pays homage to the coffee powder chain out of them? Well, you will be surprised. Please follow my presentation along with the information in the cards located on your left side. I brought for you the yellow Katwai coffee, produced by my dear friends, the Ureña Jimenez family from Finca La Chumeca in Tarrazú, Costa Rica, at 1,700 meters above sea level. This altitude allows slow ripening of the coffee sherry, obtaining 25 degrees bricks during its harvest in last December, guaranteeing a coffee with a lot of sugar concentration, which was given the Poncha 777 process. This amazing process created by Martin Ureña consists of a first aerobic fermentation in which the coffee cherries are placed inside sacks for three days until getting a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, accelerating the fermentation process and sugar absorption to give us a clean cup with bright acidity and complex flavors. Then it goes through a second anaerobic fermentation inside airtight fermentation tanks where carbon dioxide is produced, which allows the yeast to slowly consume the sugar from the coffee cherries. And from the coffee cherries dehydration inside these fermentation tanks, we obtain a juice from the mucilage, which is constantly measured until getting 4 pH level and 16 degrees bricks having the necessary lactic acid development to obtain a bigger body and thickness with fruity flavors, resulting from these two, a fermentation highly balanced coffee. At this point, I have finished extracting my espressos for my signature beverage. So, I will let them cool down for a reason to develop floral flavor notes. Once fermented, the coffee was dry in African raised beds for 18 days. This resulted in a bean with 11% motion content and 0.57 water activity. All these aspects guarantee the preservation of all its sensory attributes. For all the espressos of my presentation, I will use 22 grams in and 40 grams out with an espresso machine temperature of 93 degrees Celsius. This way, I will get a 21% TDS extraction gel, a balanced espresso that combines the sweetness of tropical fruits and the acidity of fleshy fruits. Judges, now I will ask you to write this down, please. In my espresso, you will find medium sweetness, medium high acidity,
medium low bitterness, and medium weight. With silky texture, you will taste passion fruit, peach with silky finish to plant. Please, first evaluate the crema, and then stir your espressos 10 times with a spoon. But don't drink them yet, please wait until I tell you to do so. Judges, do you remember the juice from the mucilage in the anaerobic fermentation? Well, at the finca, this byproduct is reduced four or five hours at 85 degrees Celsius, obtaining a very seed concentrated liquid rich in nutrients and sugars with bright acidity, to which I will call coffee sherry honey. This will be fundamental for my signature beverage preparation. The concentration of sugars and nutrients in my coffee sherry honey encourage me to use the freeze concentration technique for my milk beverage category. The seconds elapsed contributed to the aeration of your espressos so that you were able to taste and discover the flavors underlying more clearly. Now you can go ahead and drink your espressos. Please enjoy them. Freeze concentration is a technique that consists of removing water content from a liquid product through freezing and softening. For this process, I froze one liter of whole milk for 24 hours. Afterwards, I defrosted it to obtain just 500 milliliters of concentrated milk. To demonstrate this, I will use two graduated cylinders. One of them will have whole milk and the other freeze concentrated milk. Then, I will immerse the lactoenzymator inside each tube simultaneously, a form of hydrometer used to determine the milk's density. As you can observe, the lactoenzymator immersed in the freeze concentrated milk produces more because of the higher concentration of lipids, proteins, and carbohydrates, which resulted in a denser, creamier, and sweeter milk. Now, to prove this, I will use this freeze-concentrated milk. I can tell, you will love it.
In your milk beverages you will taste butter cookies, blueberry yogurt, and macadamia nuts. The texture is creamy with enveloping muffin. Please enjoy. I sting my milk to 60 Celsius degrees using a 1 to 2 ratio of espresso and milk respectively. This way I aim to highlight the tasting notes of butter cookies and macadamia nuts in my milk beverages. Please enjoy. In the roasting process, my coffee had a first crack time at 8 minutes 30 seconds with a 90% development time radio. This enabled the necessary degradation of organic acids to preserve and highlight enzymatic attributes. Please enjoy. The enveloping mouthfeel of this meal is due to the cow's diet, consisting of barley grains steeped in lactic acid, which helps to increase the ratio of lipids to proteins in the cow's meal production. This contributed to mouthfeel and a more stable form. Please enjoy. While you are enjoying your meal beverages, I will set out everything I need for the preparation of my to drink. Judges, we have finally arrived to the part where everything comes together. For my to beverage, I got inspired by the reusing of byproducts and three important characters related to which one of these of byproducts. To explain this, I will represent the preparation of my Sinasu Beverage key ingredient. By the farmer, I use 140 grams of dry cascara, considering coffee has is obtained during the poncha triple seven process, that has provides the carbohydrates that will have flavor to my beverage. Also, by the roaster, I use a 30 grams of shaft, the coffee syrup skin that detaches from the bean during the endothermic stage of roasting. This contains a high percentage of chlorogenic acid, fundamental for body and weight. Finally, by the barista, I use 70 grams coffee packs, which are obtained after each extraction on an espresso machine. This boosts sweetness due to its high content of potassium, which fosters the breakdown and efficient use of carbohydrates. I incorporate these free by products, considering they are from the same origin as the coffee of my espressos. The only way I go to integrate them harmoniously while creating a unique flavor was making a kombucha, which are prepared as follows. First, I mix them with four liters of water with 6.9 pH level and proceed to infuse them for 24 hours at 5 degrees Celsius to obtain a greater extraction of the compounds of each byproduct. Then, I strained it inside a glass jar in which I added 100 grams of white sugar and scoby which is a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. As the yeast feeds on the sugar, it produces carbon dioxide to create a sparkling beverage, and the lactic bacteria that comprises a 30% of the culture will achieve a 4 pH level, which enables its fermentation for four days to develop bright acidity. Judges, now I will start with my to drink preparation. With my four espressos inside this glass beaker, I will also use eight milliliters of my coffee sherry honey to sweet and sour flavor to my to drink. Then I will pour 80 milliliters of my kombucha made out of dry cascara, shaft, and coffee packs, which will bring malic acidity to my beverage. For a homogeneous mixture of all ingredients, I am using a magnetic stirrer to generate a lingering aftertaste and enveloping muffin to my beverage. To finish this experience, I am serving my Sinatra beverage in these beautiful handcrafted bowls coated with coffee parchment, a byproduct of coffee processing obtained during the mining stage. Now, please, write down my tasting notes. You will taste sweet and sour tamarind, green apple cider with silky texture, 
and finish to sweet roasted malt. Judges, the world has changed, and so must we. It is time to work hand in hand with nature to make the most of what it gives us and to work towards a sustainable world. This is what my presentation is all about. Thank you and enjoy your drinks. Time. <laughs> Amazing, David. Come here, how do you feel? <laughs> I could feel so much energy coming from that performance. It looked like you were working incredibly hard. Esto es fantástico. Muy, muy fantástico. So, uh, he's actually very excited. <laughs> <laughs> but also still needs to breathe. If, uh, if there was one thing that you want to say, you can say through your translator, that uh, for the guys at home in Peru, you can say also in Spanish, it's fine. So uh, to to share about your journey and the support they've given you. Me siento un poco quebrado, pero muy orgulloso de mi país. Y lo que se vive acá es muy grande. He's very proud of his, of his country and uh, what he's experiencing now and uh, he wants to thank you all.